What is up, fellow nerds, and welcome back to the Dapper Snapper Gaming Channel, and welcome back to Meme GC. Now, I understand that today looks a little bit different, and there's no face cam and all that stuff. I understand, but today I wanted to make sure that we can still bring you the new tech, right? And boy, have I brought some tech for you. I, I wanted to meme a little bit using some of the new stuff, and I've brought some old stuff and, and all that good stuff, but I just wanted to show you what the future holds for VGC. And I wanted to start by looking at Rain. So we are actually bringing a double poly team, which is kind of interesting, right? So we have Polytoad here who has just made a return and I absolutely love this thing. It is bulkier than Pelipper. It sets up the rain. It has pretty decent bulk in its stats and everything. So it's a really nice mod to have around. And so we've got Scald, Ice Beam, Encore, Protect. Uh, I considered running Parish Song over Encore, but I, I think Encore does the job. And then we've got a Koba Berry Amoongus that helps us to take uh, Max Airstreams because we are obviously weak to that, and that is a very common move to see. We have Rage Powder, Spore, Clear Smog, and Protect with the Regenerator. Um, this mod is just another really bulky threat that offers redirection for our Polyrath. That's right, we have a Polyrath on this team, and this is a mod that you never see, and it is Belly Drum. So we have Amoongus here, goes for the Rage Powder. As we Belly Drum, and then we switch in Politoed and we get our rain boost. Or if we're not really in any danger, we can just set it up ourselves with the uh, Max Geyser. So that's kind of the gist of the strategy. And then the rest of this stuff is kind of supporting that strat. We also have Kingdra, which Kingdra is super good offensively right now. It doesn't get Draco right now, which is weird, um, but we're running Dragon Pulse, Hurricane, and Muddy Water. That's all really good coverage. Hurricane helps us to also get max airstream if we are outside of the rain. So we don't necessarily have to have rain in order to be speedy, so that's pretty cool. We have a pretty standard Duraludon set and a pretty standard Incineroar set. We've brought this Incineroar a couple of times before and yeah, so that's it. So I guess without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into game one. Okay, so match number one, we've got Crocodile, we've got a Talonflame, and then we've got the Psychic Spam. Now Psychic Spam is pretty rough on this team and Duraludon is kind of essential. Um, so I think we're gonna lead Duraludon Incineroar that kind of helps to cover for it covers everything except for the crocodile um, And then in the back I want to bring Politoed and do we want Polyrath or Kingdra? Um, let's see Polyrath is weak to the psychic Which is kind of rough, but besides that it does. Okay Kingdra, I, th I think we're gonna have to go with Kingdra So yeah, we do see the Indeedee and the Alakazam which is going to be unfortunate, but we are assault vested on our Duraludon and we are obviously a dark type on Incineroar. So we're not affected by the, uh, we're not affected by the psychic type moves with him. So I think we just want to go ahead and fire off a dark pulse. We'll go into the Alakazam. Um, I'm actually going to double into it in case it is sashed. Oh, it goes for the, it goes big boy. Okay. So follow me. So we should, Ooh, we do not live that well. So the Stalwart's going to allow us to get off a big hit there. And we do over half to Ndidi, which is also good. Um, that did so much damage to Duraludon, which is kind of a problem. The question is, do we max this? I don't think so. I think once we have Kingdra and Politoed in, I think we'll be okay. So I'm going to... Let's see. I'm going to Dark Pulse Ndidi. I'm going to Darkest Lair it into the Alakazam just in case. Yeah, but we are going to go ahead and knock out Ndidi which is fine. I don't think that's the worst thing in the world. And we'll go Politoed just to go ahead and get the rain going. And then question mark, question mark, question mark. I'm assuming we see a Max Mindstorm again. So we probably can pretty freely switch out into Kingdra from the Incineroar. So I think that's what I want to do. I'm going to Scald the Talonflame and I'm going to switch out which actually I could probably pretty freely go for. Yeah, actually I'm gonna go for a Scald on this and I'm gonna Parting Shot onto 
the Talonflame as well. As we do see a Tailwind, we barely survive that, but that's what it's there for. As we just one-shot the Talonflame, which is fantastic, we're gonna Parting Shot, weakening this thing, and get in our Kingdra. So, that's okay. So we're, we're doing okay, actually. Um, Kingdra can now be our Dynamax user, as we see Crocodile as the last, which is totally fine with me. We are going to go ahead and Scald into the Alakazam. We're gonna Dynamax and Geyser into the Crocodile. I don't wanna deal with any kind of Rock Slide shenanigans. Like, I'm not, I'm not doing that. And then I also wanna make sure that we can survive an Expanding Force, if that's what's coming out here, which I'm expecting it to. But yeah, so this game, like, almost gave us a bunch of issues, but I think we're gonna be okay. I think we'll be all right. So let's see what my opponent wants to go for, but I'm not really sure what my opponent goes goes for here, unless the Crocodile for some reason is sashed, but that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Typically they're scarfed, but even with a scarf, you're not outspeeding the Kingdra. So we do see the Grass Knot, but Politoed's gonna eat that. Rock Slide misses Politoed, does very little to Kingdra. We Oko Crocodile, and then we should Oko the Alakazam with Scald. Very good, so pretty cool, pretty cool game one. So yeah, these games are gonna go by really quickly, by the way, because there's not a bunch of animations. So we are gonna do more than our typical two or three. Um, not too many more, I guess. We may do like four or five, but I just wanted to show you what this team can do, and it is a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and grab us another one. All right, so there's a Maractus and a Rune Regus. All right, so this is hard trick room. So we don't really have a great way of stopping it outside of fake out. So we're gonna lead Incineroar. Besides that, what do we want? Incineroar looks really good. Polyrath, uh, Polyrath is okay here. Actually, Polyrath isn't too bad. Let's try Incineroar Polyrath. Um, Bronzong and Oranguru are what we are going to be um, stopping. And so let's bring Politoed in here, and then the last one, Duraludon, looks pretty good. Yeah, let's bring Duraludon, and let's just see how this goes. I, I don't think this is the worst lead in the world. Okay, so either of these could Trick Room, so that is something that's difficult. Um, I'm going to fake out the Oranguru, and... Go ahead and belly drum. He might burn us, but I don't really think there's a whole lot we can do to stop it. As we see ally switch, that's fine. That's totally fine. And we see the trick room. Oh, okay, it had, uh, it had the mental herb, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but, so it goes ahead and gets off that, uh, oh, inner focus, that's what. So, now what do we want to do is the question. Um, we're pretty slow as is. We're not slow enough to be, like, quite this slow. Um, I kind of want to switch in Politoed here just to take the ground move. Because I have a feeling, I have a feeling we are, we're going to get a ground move incoming. And then a uh, Instruct. Kind of seems likely. But we're going to go ahead and Dynamax. We are going to be going last, but that's fine. So we go ahead and see the Brutal Swing with the Weakness Policy. And Max Phantasm, can we take that? We can. All right, so this... Can we just straight knock this out? We can. Okay, cool. So we're able to completely shut down the Dynamax tech on the other team. Although the Rune Regus was pretty cool tech, I have to say. Um, it's not quite going to... Not quite going to make it. So, let's go ahead, I, I believe we're going to max guard this turn. Let's, nope, we can't scald. Let's go ahead and ice beam into that, and then we're going to max guard. I think that's fine. Yeah, foul play, leech seed, and so this is just free damage onto, onto the Maractus, so that's pretty good. Then, let's just ice beam again, because we know that's going to knock it out. And then, darkness into, well, I mean... I think we have to go for the double, don't we? I think we have to. We're trying to stall at the trick room. Let's go for a double. Ah, we don't get it. It's fine. <laughs> it's it's okay. All right. The Giga Drain's not going to knock us out. It is going to take it out of range, though, unfortunately. We have one more turn of trick room. 
We'll go Incineroar and we can go for Scald on this and fake out the Maractus. And this should be okay. Spiky Shield, I mean, that's fine, I guess. Foul Play on Politoed is doing zero damage as I'm dumb and shoot that into that anyway, but that's okay because that, that's okay, that's okay. So since this, where was this going in turn order? It was going before Politoed. So now Politoed is going first. So we're gonna Encore that, and then we're gonna Darkest Lariat into the Oranguru. Oh, it Sucker Punched anyway, that's fine. So we're gonna go ahead and it eats its Culberberry, which is okay. It's gonna get the Trick Room back up. And we're gonna Trick Room, we're gonna Encore that into Trick Room, actually. Although it'll go first, so that's not gonna really help. Um, let's Ice Beam into this, we need to get rid of it. And we'll Flare Blitz into it too. Which is fine, I, we might just pick up a double knockout here. Yeah, that's gone, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get a double knockout, which is perfect. Alright, so what else do you have? What is, what is your last? Escavalier, oh yeah, you are not, you're not gonna like this. So, yeah, we're just, we're just gonna, we're just gonna knock this out. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry what, what I must do to you. Drill run is not gonna be enough. This Incineroar is very bulky. And that should just one shot. Yep, that's it. Good, goodbye. GG. Uh, let's get another one. Okay, this person only has four Pokemon. Um, but why am I scared? So, I see simple shenanigans with no retreat. I see simple no no retreat shenanigans. What do I do about it? I put them to sleep. And I bring Polyrath, I bring Politoed. In the back. Duraludon doesn't look too bad, but I think Kingdra is the way to go. Yeah, so I guess Swoobat Phalanx is what we see. Yeah, Swoobat Phalanx. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna spore the Phalanx. And is that what I want to do? Yeah, I think so. Belly drum, because I see skill swap. Yeah. And then we're going to see the no retreat. Yep. That's fine, I think. Yeah, so it's going to sleep, so that's perfect. And so now we switch in Politoed. We're going to Dynamax. We're going to Max Darkness into the Swoobat. Go ahead and get rid of that on this required turn of sleep. And then we can deal with the Phalanx once we have the rain up. So I think this is fine. Um, it's an interesting strat for sure, but I don't think it's gonna quite work out here. Oh, it's sashed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's bad. That's bad. Oh, okay, okay, we lived. We lived. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. It's fine. All right, so that does put us in danger, though. That puts us in a lot of danger, so I'm gonna knock. Okay, so we're gonna Scald into the Phalanx, and we're going to Geyser into the Swoobat, as it's going to Max Guard. That's bad. Although Scald's a two-hit KO still, that's kind of fantastic. And then we're gonna go into Swoobat again. The idea here is to try to we need to get rid of the Swoobat because if it goes for a Mindstorm on Polyrath, we are not gonna like it. And yeah, Politoed's still very bulky, so it's good to have around as this Phalanx just stays asleep. Yeah, that's really unfortunate for my opponent. My opponent really didn't have much of a shot there. Yeah, after it fell asleep for so long, it's that's kind of rough, but that's just the chance you take, man. Let's get another one. Okay, so we see Galarian Slowbro. This is the first Galarian Slowbro I've seen for VGC. Um, if you haven't seen our Wi-Fi battle from this week, go ahead and check that out up in the iCard above. That was a pretty cool battle, and it puts in some work, man. And then we've got a show. We've got an Urshifu, Lolan Marowak. I mean, it's just all new stuff, and I'm a fan. I'm, I'm totally cool with it. The Sandcastle is interesting to see. But this looks like a Polyrath game if I can get around the Amoongus. So I'm going to lead... Hmm. Amoongus, Incineroar, Politoed, Polyrath. That's what I'm going to do. 
So we see Urshifu, we see Porygon too, so we don't even see the... We don't even see that, so that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and intimidate the Urshifu, which is always good. And let's go ahead and fake out the Urshifu and put it to sleep. I think that's what we want to do. So, yeah, let's go ahead and fake it out, put it to sleep, that way we don't have to deal with it. Um, I, I assume this is a rapid, yeah, it's rapid strike, so this is the water one. So I want to go ahead and get rid of the possibility of it doing a bunch of damage. And then we could switch in the, um, we can switch in the Polyrath after this. If we get the belly drum up, I think we win the game. Yeah, I, I think if we can get Poly, if we can get Polyrath set up in the rain, then I think we can just straight up win. Which it wouldn't have necessarily been a terrible lead though, because I mean, and, and obviously I, di I didn't know, but if if he led a Moongus, then we were in a really rough spot. But if we had led a Moongus and Politoed, we would have we would have been totally fine. My opponent's taken a minute to decide, though. Do we set the timer on him? Is that what we do? Yeah, we'll start the timer. Come on, man. Alright, so we do see the Amoongus. So, my opponent did bring the Amoongus and correctly predicted the Spore, which makes sense. We get a Trick Room, which is also not great, but we can deal with it. What do we want to do, though? I'm going to Spore Porygon 2. And, hmm, I really don't want this going to sleep, but I don't think there's much of a choice here. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to take our turn of sleep. We'll put the Porygon 2 to sleep, and we're just going to have to kind of deal with it. I, I think, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. So, now, what do we want to do here? I think we're just going to have to vie for who can wake up first. Honestly, because I, I really can't afford any of my, any more of my team getting put to sleep. So, we're gonna just go for Flare Blitz again. Yeah, he can't really touch me. I can't really touch him. So we're just gonna kinda be sitting there here for a while, waiting on somebody to wake up. Yeah, this is just kinda where we're at. So, I'm, I'm just gonna keep going with it. It's really all either of us can do. It's in both of our best interests just to stay in. Okay, we do see the Protect here which is fine, unless we wake up. Okay, we don't wake up, so that's totally good. We're gonna go for the double up again. I mean, this is just wasting his trick room, so I'm totally cool with it. Alternatively, we could switch out into the Polyrath right now, but I don't think that's our best option at the moment. Yeah, Giga Drain's doing nothing. Clear Smog's doing nothing. All right. We do see the wake up, try attack, we do live, I get crit, love it, and Flare Blitz, Amoongus is gone. Oh, I kind of wanted Incineroar to go down there. I, I kind of wish Incineroar had gone down. That's kind of rough. Um, okay. We're going to Rage Powder here, and Parting Shot the Urshifu. Okay, so we get the U-turn off, so that's actually okay. We're going to see the Palosand, we're going to Parting Shot out. And go... we go Politoed? Or Polyrath? Hmm. I mean, it's going for Trick Room. I'm going Politoed. Yeah, we can save We can save Politoed for, for the back. So now we go for Spore on Porygon 2 again. And we can Ice Beam into the Palisand. We don't quite... Oh yeah, this thing gets Giga Drain. I haven't seen Palisand in so long. I do know that it gets Water Compaction. And I don't want to activate that. But we're going to go ahead and Spore this. And Ice Beam it again. But yeah, I don't want to start raising its defense. But yeah, I think this is... I think this is fine. This isn't the way I wanted to win. Ow. Yeah, this isn't the way I wanted to win. But I'll, I'll still take it, I guess. And you can go back to sleep. And... Let's see. Yeah, you can go back to sleep. And Scald will knock out at this time. And I don't think Water Compaction absorbs the water. It just... Yeah, I don't think you're immune to it. Yeah, no, you're not. So that's fine. All right, so last is going to be the Urshifu again. And we're going to Rage Powder and Scald into the Urshifu. 
try attack, that's fine. I'm just trying to get a burn. If we get a burn, I think the, okay, the, I think the game's over. I, I think, I think it's over now. Cause we just put the Porygon 2 back to sleep before it goes for the Trick Room. And I don't know if we can Encore it into U-Turn, but that'd be nice. Oh, Dynamax goes for the Max Flutterby. It doesn't even knock out, which is kind of crazy. T-Bolts into the Politoed. And we and Porygon's Porygon two is asleep. So let's go. Can we go Polyrath here? Yeah, I think we go Polyrath here. And we're gonna Rage Powder. I don't think we need to Belly Drum here. I, I don't think it's gonna be necessary. But what we'll do is Rage Powder, and then we can Geyser into the Urshifu. Yeah, we'll Geyser into the Urshifu to go ahead and get our speed boost. And then we'll be we'll we'll be okay, I think. I mean it does nothing, but now we have our speed boost. We go Incineroar here. And we're gonna click parting shot on the Urshifu. And we'll click max knuckle on the Urshifu as well. So that we can start boosting our attack up, which is good. Um, it is a plus one defense, which isn't the best in the world. As we live the Max Geyser, that's kind of insane. Uh, gonna be honest with you, that's kind of insane. But, so now it shrinks back down. And so now it's gonna be Polyrath versus the world. <laughs> Pretty much. So, let's go ahead and click Darkest Lariat, although we're going to get knocked out here. Yeah, that's, that's fine. It gets knocked out. We're gonna Max Knuckle into the Urshifu again. And that is going to be enough to knock it out. So we're now at plus two. That doesn't do quite enough. And we're going to be able to click plus two close combat. Can plus two close combat knock out a Porygon 2? Yes, it can. Let's go, Polyrath. All right, all right. I think we need one more. One more. And then we'll call it a day. This this is cool. I, I really enjoy this team. It's, it's a lot of fun. All right, last match of the day is we see another Palisand. We see Magnezone, which is cool, and again, Rillaboom, which gives this team a lot of issues. So, I think I want to lead Incineroar and Amoongus. And what do I want to bring in the back? I do I need Politoed here? I still want Incineroar Amoongus. Do I want Politoed in the back, or do I, do I rely on my opponent to bring it? I don't feel like my opponent needs it. So I, I'm gonna bring it myself. Then we've got Kingdra or Polyrath. Um, man, I really wanna bring Polyrath here. I think I, yeah, I think I can. Yeah, I'm gonna bring it. I think Kingdra's better, be, like being honest with you, I think Kingdra's better in this situation, but I really just want this thing to work. Uh, I really want this thing to shine. And it's tough. It's tough because this Mon really isn't all that great, unfortunately. But I think it's super fun using the double poly strats. It's, it's a lot of fun. All right, well, do we want to start the timer? Don't make me start the timer, please. Please. Okay, you did. Come on, man. I don't, I don't want to have to be here all day. It's the last game. Let's go. Let's go. What you got? I think it's interesting, honestly. Like when you think when you think about it like when i do meme gc stuff on the regular channel like i take my time with all my decisions and that sort of thing and then when you get on showdown it's completely different like everybody's like okay you must make your move in like half a second otherwise uh, otherwise i'm leaving it's it's kind of a weird it's weird i don't know i'm not i'm not sure why that difference is is the way it is but it's a thing it's it's a thing that a lot of people do Okay, so I think we fake out Magnezone. That goes ahead and breaks. It's sturdy and all of that. And we're going to spore the Togekiss. We do have the Koba Berry. So we can take, I think, either one of us. We just saw Incineroar take a Max Starfall in the last game. It can definitely take a Max Airstream. Amoongus can take a Max Airstream. I think this is pretty safe. So, And we know that since it's off the ground, it's not going to be affected by the Misty Terrain if it does go for it. So... That's fine. That's totally fine. So what do you want to go for here? As we see the Politoed switch in, um, that's fine. Protect from Togekiss is not as fine. 
just just uh, just being honest. It's not as fine, but I think we sh are we faster? We're probably faster than Politoed. I mean, how much speed does my Politoed have? 91. So mine's faster. Hmm. I'm gonna switch out into my own Politoed here and spore the Togekiss again, just in case. As we do see the Air Slash, which is fine. Don't you dare flinch us. Politoed has Earth Power? What? What? <laughs> what? Well, that is the new tech right there. You can keep doing that. I'm gonna try to spore this stupid thing again. I really need it to go to sleep. Please? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Um, I think... Yeah, it knocks us out on this one. This is ridiculous. Are you are you kidding me? Okay, well... Let's... Well, we're kind of in a really bad spot now. If, a, if any of those had worked out, we would have been fine. We would have been totally fine. Um, let's just hope we live. It missed. Okay, okay. Yep, we needed that. We needed that. All right, we needed that. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna protect and spore. And yeah, I think that's what I have to do here. Um, I could actually, actually... I'm gonna switch into Incineroar and Spore. That's what I'm gonna do. I wanna get this back in just so that I can get the rain set back up. As we do see a thunder, as that hurts a lot. That hurts a lot. Um, okay, <laughs> lol. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's fake out the Toga Kiss because this just went to sleep. And we could go Polyrath here. Yeah, let's go Polyrath. I'm trying to play a little more aggressively on this one. As we see Politoed, that's perfect. That's totally fine with me. Um, okay, so we see to we have Togekiss here, which isn't the best. I'm gonna swap in Amoongus. And, I mean, it's gonna air slash me though. Switch in Politoed. I'm, I'm having to play around this stupid Togekiss. Yeah, this Togekiss is giving me a lot of issues, like, real talk um let's let's wait let's let's think about this we're gonna see air slash on this so we want amoongus in this slot polytoed in this slot right i think that's what we want we see dazzling okay earth power okay we're not quite in berry range yeah we haven't eaten our berry yet it did lower our special defense though which is not great Let's try to put this to back to s Actually, you know what? We're putting this to sleep. And we're ice beaming this. I, I need I need this Togekiss dead. I really need this Togekiss dead. Um Yeah, let's Let's put it to sleep and ice beam it. I, I really need this thing gone. It's really a thorn in my side right now. Okay, so we can go into Polyrath now and just click liquidation and knock it out. Then, what do we want to do? We can Scald into the Politoed. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to get off the Belly Drum in this match. Just with this Togekiss being here, and I lost my Amoongus. Yeah, we're going to have to go Liquidation, Scald, hope for a burn. It's probably our best shot. This This match is definitely a tougher one. Togekiss definitely gives us some issues, but we'll have to figure out how to deal with them. Not really sure how we're going to deal with them, but we'll we'll figure it out. So Liquidation is still going to do half to a Magnezone and lower the defense, which is totally fine with me. We do not get the burn. Don't you dare burn me now. Okay, good. Okay, good. We're, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, okay. Do we go ahead and max now is the question. Yes. We're going to max Knuckle into the Magnezone, swap out into Incineroar. I, I think that's what we're going to do because now it's focused on the Polyrath. So we're going to go ahead and get the knockout on the Magnezone. Then if we get burned, it's actually okay because we're going to negate it after two max Knuckles. So it's not the worst thing in the world if we get burned. Do we get burned? 
No. All right, perfect. That is totally fine with me. And so now, what do you go into? What is, what is your, what is your pick? Is it back into Togekiss? If it is, I'm killing that on site. That is going away right now. Okay, yeah, this is getting out of here right now. Going into Polito. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 not this one. Going for a. Hmm. Let's go for a darkness. And then swap in Politoed. Just that way we're guaranteed going first. This should kill through Protect though, right? Oh, we crit? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I did zero. Skull, don't you dare burn me. Don't get the burn. I'll take it. I will take it. And both these spit their spit Fs are down as well, which is good. Where's my burn law? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> I understand. He's gone for so many and still hasn't gotten the burn, which is so unfortunate. Um, let's just go for another darkness here. And we'll scald his Politoed. Follow me, that's, I mean, I went for that anyway. So go ahead and knock that out. All right, so we should be all right here. Are we gonna burn him first try? Okay, no, we don't. I was like, if we burn him first try, okay, there's his burn. Okay, he deserved that after a while. That's, he He went for enough. He deserved that burn, that's fine. Um, can we still win though? Ooh, Dragapult, that's a problem. That's a big problem. So we're gonna click Darkest Lariat here and Ice Beam. We're gonna just double into it. We are gonna see the max out of it. Yeah, Darkest Lariat, even with a crit, does zero. Goes ahead and knocks out my Politoed. We go in Incineroar here. Um, let's see. I have to click Lariat again. We could click Double Lariat here, or we could fake out the Politoed. I think we click Double Lariat. Yeah, I think my opponent's gonna turn this one back around. Yeah, my opponent's gonna take it. Well, yeah. Oh, oh no, he won out on timer. He lost on timer. Oh no, that really sucks. He, my opponent had that game. My opponent definitely had that game. I'm very, very sorry that you lost on timer because I couldn't kill both and I died a burn even if my opponent didn't do anything. So that's really unfortunate. I'm really sorry, but really cool showdown live. We haven't done a showdown live meme GC ever before. Like really cool. I I've really had a lot of fun with this. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. So make sure to let me know down in the comments below if you enjoy this kind of, this kind of content. Uh, next week we should be back in game in order to do some regular laddering and all that stuff. But just right now on the ladder, it's not allowed. We're not allowed to use any of the new stuff. So I thought it would be cool to still bring you new stuff, but we just got to use showdown for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to let me know what you would like to see in the future. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.